In 2007, I visited Karnak as a member of a tour group led by John Anthony West. One of the things he showed us was the broken tip of one of a pair of Queen Hatshepsut's obelisks. Some accounts say it was toppled due to an earthquake in antiquity, but there seems to be no documentation for exactly how it was broken. A twin to the remaining upright obelisk, it was created at circa 1450 BCE and was originally 28 meters long, weighing 343 tons. The remaining broken tip is 11 meters long and 90 tons. The rest of the obelisk was broken into too many pieces to save. West had us gather close to the broken end of the fragment, which was mounted lengthwise on a pedestal at the side of the sacred lake of Karnak, and struck the apex end with his closed fist. Imagine our surprise and delight as a clear bell-like tone emanated from the broken stub of the pillar every time he struck the apex. Greatly intrigued by this demonstration, I resolved on the spot to bring the tools needed to properly record the tone on a future trip. In 2018, I did, arriving with microphones and recording equipment, and made arrangements to revisit the obelisk with our guide, Sohaila, in the first minutes after the opening of the site, so that we could work quietly without a crowd to contend with and unmolested by guards. We were able to capture a perfectly clear series of recordings of the tone, some produced as Sohaila thumped the apex, and then a few as I took her place and applied a bit more oomph. And here is what the tone sounds like. Upon returning home, I ran the recording through a simple spectrum analyzer app called WavePad and posted a video of the project on my YouTube channel. This is exciting stuff because it indicates that the ancients may well have had some understanding of these matters and their creation of monuments and structural elements had a purpose beyond just the visual aesthetic, a sophisticated level of vertical integration, if you will. This is a new viewpoint that transforms our perceptions of the level of advancement the ancient Egyptians demonstrated in the physical sciences and hopefully can become a useful tool in our assessment of their legacy in the future. I think it is interesting to note in closing that in April of 2022, the Ministry of Antiquities decided to remove the obelisk fragment from the lakeside display and stand it upright effectively ending all possibility of further investigations.